Hi, hello, it's Shay at Shay Curran Photography once again. And today what we're doing is replacing closed, half closed or squinty eyes. And we start off with a photograph, obviously, with closed, half closed or squinty eyes. And before you start, one of the first thing you need are a pair of open eyes. And we have a pair here. And what we're going to do basically is just whip them out of there and pop them into the closed squinty eyes. First thing you do or should do is control J which will duplicate your layer. That's in both cases, in both photos. Uh, that means if you have to go back, it's just a matter and make any changes. Uh, you can go back in and delete that layer if necessary. So here we are. We're going to take this eye and place it on that eye. So you go into your rectangular marquee tool just select it, draw it over the eye, right click and then layer via copy. That will produce a layer and a layer mask and what we want in this case is a black layer which will in fact hide the eye. So we position the cursor over layer mask, hit alt and layer mask at the same time and we get up here in the right hand corner a black layer mask which hides the eye. Now the way to reveal the eye is just hit B for brush and paint with the white brush, the white brush now we're using and that does it. Now you can see straight away the eye is not from this line here and down here uh, the eye is not exactly in place so if you go Control T which is transform uh, basically just use this to position the eye more accurately. But what we could also do up here in the right hand corner is reduce the opacity here okay which will let us see where it should go I think just about there should do it yeah I think that's about it enter bring your opacity back up to 100% mmm that doesn't look great for some reason uh, v again yeah I think we'll just oh there we are now that's a bit better I'll just brush it out like that make sure when you're using the brush that the hardness is at 100% and also the opacity up here is also at 100% now that's it now that leaves just a couple of lines there a quick fix here uh, is just merge those two layers merge down okay back over over to the eye we're going to just blur this line here so we hit or for blur and very gently just blend it in there hmm that's okay yeah I think that's about right now so let's see a before and after now that's before after yeah it's not perfect uh, but remember this is a 200% if we hit Z or Z and we just bring it down a bit and you can see the difference here now I think you'll agree that's much better okay thanks for joining me come back again and watch some other videos by Shea Corrin Photography see you then thank you